visit Havana, land of romance. It was a disgusting hellhole run by the mob and rich people before Castro liberated it. Look at this. I am still devoted to the cause more than ever, and I will visit Havana. Let's do it. Hey dudes, what's up? I'm having a mojito, and I'm having a beer, and I'm pouring out some for my dead homie, Fidel Castro, who just passed. Um, as you just saw, I have a, a tat of Fidel Castro, and I'm, I have a puppy that's Havanese, because um, I understand Cuba. I know what it's going through. I know about their president, who just died, longest serving president, I believe, ever. Basically a monarch. And he stood by his people, by the way, when they had no money. 25 bucks a month, I think they make. And he stood by them for 50 years. Election after election after election. Um, and I know all this because as a Canadian, I was allowed to go there. And they talk about how horrible it is there. We stayed at a, a resort that was linked to Delta, I believe, Holiday Inn or something. Endless beer, uh, buffet tables every night. There was a pool, there was activities. Yeah, really horrible place. Yeah, capitalism is evil. I mean, check out some of these tweets that people are saying. They're mocking Justin Trudeau, by the way. Uh, well, not everyone. Jill Stein was cool. Uh, Barack was pretty awesome. He'll be judged in history. And then, uh, look at uh, this statement that uh, uh, Justin Trudeau put out. He just said, here it is on the screen. You can see he's saying that he was uh, larger than life, that he served his country. Yes, that's all true. He, and he was a, a long-serving president. Like, what's the problem with that statement? Why is everyone making fun of him? And why are you bringing in all these other people like Pol Pot? Pol Pot killed millions of people. Fidel killed like 7,000. That's nothing. In fact, I bet Trump will kill more than 7,000 before he's even president. There's been over 7 million hate crimes since he was elected. But look at this, these tweets like Mussolini. Everyone loved Mussolini when he came out. Hitler was the, the Time Magazine's man of the year. You like him until he kills Jews. Yeah, that's right. I'm anti-Israeli. And I don't care what the chosen people think. Or this Michael Malice one about Osama bin Laden. He actually did improve air travel, by the way. And Osama bin Laden only killed 3,000 people. Uh, Stalin, Stalin killed 30 million, but if you read through, if you check out Oliver Stone, you realize that it was mostly America's fault. It was mostly capitalism's fault. It's all here. You just Google it. Capitalism is fucked up. And the, the, the other criticism you get from about Castro a lot is that, oh, he slept with all these women, he's having all these affairs. Yeah, it's called, it's called being sex positive. He loved life, he loved people. Remember the beer, he would say, you can tell the bitter people by the, uh, he spoke with an Italian accent for some reason, by the big, big beer bellies, he would say. And yeah, he liked having sex with beautiful women because he loved women because he was a feminist. You know, you hear the same thing, Justin Trudeau's getting all this shit and his mother got shit when his dad was prime minister for being a libidinous, sex positive woman who proudly showed her private parts, and she was at Studio 54. Uh, she was with the Rolling Stones. She was shit. She was hanging out with Fidel about nine months before Justin was born, and then she brought the baby for him to see. After. That's kind of weird. Nine months. Nah. Hi, folks. That was a Rebel Media short. I have my own show on Rebel Media called How's It Going? You gotta pay for that one. Check it out right here.